how often were you the only African American on the teams and in the, the the sort of environment of this sport? Most of the time, yeah. except in Detroit, which was so wonderful, is that I think that's what kept me grounded. So I was the first black to make the national team, and then Laura Bell joined me when we made the world championship team. But most of the times, I mean, there were just times I was going to like Poland and uh, uh, the former Czechoslovakia, and people would just point because they had never seen a black woman, period. <laughs> right. In life. Wow. Right? Wow. And um, Zena, fortunately, she was so great. I studied Russian language with her. And so I would be able to speak with Russians. They were at the top in rhythmic. And so when I would travel to the former Soviet, the Eastern Bloc, I could speak Russian, which was another thing. They're like, why, why is this black woman speaking Russian? But um, <laughs> I think what kept me grounded is coming back to Detroit. And see, this is in the 70s and 80s, and we were bringing people. Bulgarians were coming to train here. Everybody's coming to Detroit when a lot of people were not hanging out in Detroit. So yeah, we before were. Before it was cool, right? Before it was cool. <laughs> So we hosted the national championships, and I really think that's what kept me grounded, the fact that my community was here, my church was here, all the people, you know, the mayor was black, that's the mayor that I knew. So I, it, it gave me, I think, a sense of, of strength yeah. as I went around the world. 